vidIQ tutorial, how to use vidIQ to improve your views and get more keywords. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use vidIQ to improve your YouTube channel and start getting more views and rate higher in the YouTube SEO score. So let's get into it. First off, before I go into the vidIQ platforms, I'm going to discuss the pricing on vidIQ. Now, they do provide a free version and it's good to get started, but with time, you're probably going to want to upgrade to one of their premium versions. First off, they provide you with three daily ideas. They're going to give you three competitor trackings, they're going to give you one trend alert. They're going to give you basic email support. You can also do a video scorecard and a live status bar on their Chrome extensions. And you also get a basic video analytic and that is about it. On the pro version, however, which is around $8 a month, you get 10 daily ideas, you get six competitor tracking options, then you get a trend alert, you also get email and chat support, you get academy, you get the live status bar on your Chrome and Firefox extension, you also get a video scorecard, you get bulk YouTube descriptions, keyword search tools, most viewed videos, you get top tweets for videos, you get top trending videos, and you also get to compare your views, you get basic video analytics, you get the keyword research tool, and I find this tool very, very helpful. I think it's one of the best tools on video vidiq.com. It's one of the best research tools I have seen in the general YouTube SEO monitoring space. So now moving on, they have a boost version which sits at around $40 a month and that is going to give you a keyword search engine for about 40 to 200 videos per month. It's going to give you 20 competitor tracking ideas. You get 15 trend alerts, you get email and chat support, and you get all of the other features like, you know, all the other basic features you can imagine. So best time of day, bulk SEO optimizations, dedicated SEO analytics, channel wide tags, and so much more. And the boost version, which is around $415 a month, is going to give you everything you can imagine. So all the coaching, SEO analytics, basic video analytics, SEO description and title recommendations, keyword research, everything that is mentioned in the previous version. So without wasting any time, let's move on to the vidIQ platform. So you can see over here that this is the basic dashboard you're going to be welcomed with once you log on to vidIQ. You're just going to link your Gmail account on which your YouTube account has been created to vidIQ. And over here, you can see you have your keyword opportunity. So you can search for different keywords and uh, that is to actually give a idea to vidIQ about what your channel is about. So let's just say we are on social media and you can see first off the keywords provided, the search volume for all of these keywords and you can see the competition. So the competition is very high on this kind of keyword and you get a overall 44 rating. And this overall rating is a measure of how attractive this keyword is to you as a creator. And it is not that attractive because it needs to be over 60% for you to actually be able to make a decent amount of money off of your YouTube videos, especially in such a high competition category. Now, if you look below that, you can actually see some related keywords and you can see the social media detox is actually a pretty suitable uh, keyword instead of using social media as a keyword as it is. So you can go for social media detox as your keyword instead of using social media. So if you're creating a YouTube video, maybe you were going to make a video on why I quit social media or you should not be using social media instead of using those keywords because they have such a high search volume, but they also have just as high competition. You might want to opt for using keywords like social media detox, going off of social media, social media detox, and add tags related to that instead. So you can copy these tags and search for other keywords as well. So once you click on social media detox, you can see related keywords and all of these have medium competition. So your chances in getting more views in these kinds of keywords or categories is far higher as compared to maybe just social media. Now, if we were to search maybe iPhone actually, because the iPhone 
13 just launched so there are a lot of videos currently being made on the iPhone but you can see if you just put an iPhone review on your video you're going to get very high competition but if you search if you put in iPhone 13 you're going to get medium competition with a overall 75 out of 100 rating for the keyword so putting in iPhone 13 is going to be better than putting in iPhone 13 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max and that is because they have a because iPhone 13 has a overall better ranking as a keyword as compared to Pro or Max so even if you are making a video related to the iPhone 13 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max it's best if you add iPhone 13 Pro as a keyword before you add those as well now Going back to our basic dashboard, you can add some keywords and let vidIQ know what kind of topics you focus on. So let's just say we are doing tech, we are doing tech unboxing, we are doing Samsung. So the Samsung Galaxy, Samsung Unpacked, and then we're doing Apple. So we're going to add Apple, Apple Event, Apple Watch, and then we are going to do iPhone. And once you add all of these keywords, you're going to save and what this does is it opens up your keyword so you can see the top keyword opportunities for you especially that is going to be tailored to you so massive tech unboxing is a far better keyword to use instead of using best tech you can see even though you might have always used best tech and opted for it you can see it had higher higher competition as compared to massive tech or tech haul and that is just something you don't think of unless you really know the YouTube algorithm. Now, the second really important feature that they provide is competitor tracking. Now, you can monitor your competitors for ideas and for inspiration because everyone copies everyone. And this is something that is inevitable in the YouTube world because there is a overlap of content and with content being created in bulk, it is not unlikely that someone will copy someone else and it's not something to be mad about or ashamed about so let's just say our youtube competitor is how to digital now i'm going to add one competitor and now i can monitor their performance if i was to add my own channel and now i can monitor the performance of my competitors and what i can do is i can see their subscribers their public views and I can see a general daily and cumulative charts. Now, these are small channels, so obviously there isn't enough public data on them. But if you actually select a larger channel, like How to Cook That by Anne Reed, I find her to be a very lovely lady and I really do love her channel. I'm going to add her as a competitor. And now you can see for Anne Reed, I can see the number of daily views. I can see the total views that she has garnered. I can see a cumulative chart of her general growth in terms of views and now I can see all of that in terms of subscribers, in terms of public videos, average daily views, average subscribers per day, average public videos per day and that is just something that you won't be able to find on a lot of other websites to be so neatly provided to you. Now below that if you scroll down you can see the top videos from your competitors and after that you can get a general analytics table for your competition as well. Now you can even select the time frame for the competition analytics you want. So if you want the data for the past year, you can select 12 months and you can see all the data has been updated. If you want it to be for the past two months, you can select two months and then so on and so forth. Now, after that, you also have a monetization tracker, so you can track when your channel is going to be monetized, and after that, you can track how much money you're going to be making on your channel. Now, after all of these basic helpful ideas on vidIQ, you also get a daily ideas, and now this little feature that they have is in beta mode but still it's a very good feature because it gives you some extra little sprinkle to throw in on your donuts and it might provide you with a spark that you don't have so you can see i have a lyrics video linked to this channel that i have logged in on and you can see that it is giving me suggestions for different lyrics videos that i could create 
to get views so you can it's giving me one high competition one very high competition one medium competition and i can save this or either i can dismiss it so let's say i save it and you can access your saved ideas over here and start creating your lyrics video lyrics videos and once i click on that I get the competition video. So these are the competitors on YouTube that I am going to be competing against if I create a lyrics video for this suggestion that they have given me as well. Now you also have your subscribers boost and your SEO boost. Now for this, you're going to have to upgrade to their premium version and they don't offer a trial for these features. and. I think even without using the subscribers boost or SEO boost, the general usability of vidIQ is pretty good. The features that you can use on the free version are decent enough for you to get started on YouTube. And once you have a decent um, understanding of how YouTube works, you can move on to a premium version. Now, vidIQ also has a Chrome extension that you can add to your Chrome bar and then monitor different channel analytics directly from YouTube. If you don't want to open up the dashboard of vidIQ all the time, maybe you just want to be browsing on YouTube and you might look at a video and you might think you, you want to know the analytics on this, you can just add the Chrome extension and view all of the analytics from there as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.